good this morning. It actually looks like how it would if it was snowing. Just really cloudy. Cold and cloudy. Um, yeah. The last vlog was about my last day of line dancing class. And it was fun. Those ladies are a lot of fun. I really enjoyed dancing with them and getting to know them. Um, today, today's vlog is um, about PETA. And so, um, they, <clears throat> I can't remember the, the term that they're calling it. But they want us to be careful with the things that we say about animals. Because animals can speak English and they hear us stop. <laughs> it's too early in the morning to be joked out. But I am. Um, instead of saying um, beating a dead horse, I think they want us to say feeding a well-fed horse. They don't want us to say to kill two birds with one stone. I forgot the one they want us to replace that one with. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. They don't want us to say bring home the bacon. Because you, if you want bacon, you have to kill a pig. So they want us to say bringing home the bagels. Let me tell you something. This is a true story. I was in Houston with my sorority sisters. And we were looking for a, a restaurant to eat at after church for brunch. And we went to this restaurant. Real nice setup. But they majority served these little healthy foods with bagels and cheeses and all this. And I didn't see meat anywhere on the menu. Does it look like I bring home the bagels? Or do I bring home the bacon? We had to leave that restaurant. And those people were so nice. You know, and, and Godspeed, I wish them continued success to people who like to bring home the bagels. But I like to bring home the bacon. I like to eat the bacon. And I like to bring home the bacon. You know, Peter, you're running out. I just believe that there are a lot more serious issues at hand. Ma'am, when you talk about animal cruelty, the colloquialisms, how do you say that word, or the sayings that we have that involve animals, that's not animal cruelty. Excuse me. That doesn't hurt animals. No. What hurt animals is when people have animals and they mistreat them. They beat them. They don't feed them. They don't take them to the vet when they get sick. I just saw a story about a dog who, um, whoever had the dog, they weren't feeding him. And I mean, it was a Great Dane. You know, Great Danes are really big dogs. It did, I can't even explain how bad the dog looked. But anyway, he had started eating his own foot. He had started eating his own foot. And because of an infection from that, they're going to have to amputate the dog's leg. That's animal cruelty, Peter. That, get on that. Get on that. Because that doesn't make any sense. That you have a dog and don't want to take care of him. I remember um, we had a little dog. Um, it was my mom, my sister, and I. And our two foster brothers, they the dog came along with the boys. We were doing as much as we could to take care of the boys. We could not afford to take care of the boys and the dog. And it hurt all of us, but I took him to the shelter. I had to. And they were crushed, and, and I understand that you know, having a family pet, but I was not going to neglect the dog. We couldn't afford it because we were now providing for two more humans. And if you cannot adequately take care 
of a pet then take it somewhere to um, an entity or a person who can take care of it better. We couldn't take care of it. I was, we would go and buy groceries for the house. Oh, gotta get Scrappy Doo some food. Trying to find him a nice little bed to lay in. And we got him when it was cold too. And he wasn't um, housebroken. So that was always something. Which, you know, really didn't mind because you grow, I think you grow attached to animals very easily. Um, but I had to take him to the shelter and it hurt my feelings. But I knew there he would get fed. It wouldn't be a problem there. Whereas we were kind of struggling just to make sure that everybody was taken care of. Peter, you running out. You're running out. There are a lot more important things, I believe. Do you sit up and think? Do you sit up and think that oh, I just, I, I don't. And, and you know, some people do talk to animals. I feel like if you have an animal, you talk to them. I've talked to animals before. My um, papa had a farm. My uncle has a farm. So when we go out there and we see the horses, we talk to them. But do you think that they really care about the stuff that we say? Now, true enough, I feel like it's all in your demeanor and things when you talk to them. And dogs know if you've ever seen those videos when you... um if they've done something or tore something up and they're like, who, they can tell in your tone, but they don't know what you're saying. Child. Ooh, Chile. I just think that it's more important things that you could be concerned about. But to each his own. I'm not judging y'all. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm just talking about what I saw. And I think it's a little bit too much. But to each his very own. Very, very out. Oh, goodness gracious, gracious, goodness. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna find that picture and then I'm gonna post it in the uh in the vlog so y'all can see all of the little sayings that they want us to change. Bring home the bagels. Y'all all to be shaming me out still. Ain't nobody bringing home no bagels. That don't even make sense. Oh, have mercy. But to each is very own. Um, oh, it just looks dreary and gloomy. Bless our hearts and all our parts. Y'all like my Christmas earrings? My mom made these. They're poncettas. And I actually, I'm going to have to start showing y'all my headbands that I wear for Christmas. Yes, I'm that girl. The office is decorated with Christmas decor. I wear the headbands. I play Christmas music. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Woo. But the fire of the living God is so delightful. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm almost to work. I think that was the only thing that I wanted to touch on. Was that Peter? Peter, Peter. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. So, so the pumpkin's mad. So we can't talk about the pumpkins. We can't eat the pumpkins. We can't eat. Uh, well, some of y'all eat pumpkin pie. I eat sweet potato pie. There's a difference. Um, but yeah, y'all running out. You're going too far and you're staying too long. That's all it is. I love when they come real slow like that, thinking that I'm finna wait. I'm finna go ahead and turn. You take your time. okay i hope that everyone has a good day oh y'all forgive me for looking like a, a a ashy sea turtle this morning forgive me for that and since we've no place to go but all right be easy love you guys